Um, we're introducing a new chapter of the story that includes Lara Croft's first kill. Um, brought, the code that we're showing is also a great showcase for her character. Uh, it's two things that I'm super proud of and I'd like to talk about. Um, first, when I say we're reinventing her character, um, we haven't thrown out everything about Lara Croft and reinvented her from scratch. She still has the same qualities that we love about her. Uh, she's still an archaeologist. She still has a nose for adventure. She still looks for smart solutions to problems. At the same time, this new Lara Croft is more inexperienced, she's more human, and she's more vulnerable. One of the first things we do is we bring you really, really close to her, and she's shipwrecked on this island, uh, and she has to fight to survive. And what might seem like small things, like learning to hunt, you know, in, in our game, she kills a deer for the first time. It's a big moment for her, and you really feel that impact. Um, the second thing I want to talk about is, uh, this is Lara Croft's origin story, uh, and we're showing a really important chapter here, and it's been a really awesome experience for us and for the team uh, to be able to tell that story in an inter interactive way. Our game is very different in many ways. Uh, tonally, uh, it's a lot darker. Uh, our character is a lot more human and vulnerable. We're really focused on a portion of action adventure that we call survival action. So we've done a lot of studying uh, real world survivor stories and we take things that we've learned for those and we pair those with big action moments. Uh, we feature a principle that we learned from some of the survival stories we studied. Um, one of the things that we found, people who survive, they have this mantra that they uh, have, have used and it's just keep moving. And Laura has the same thing in her adventure. You see as she goes through, she'll tell herself, just keep moving, just keep moving. And that's the key to success. So very much built uh, with that survival flavor in mind. Uh, and we take that and we marry that with some amazing big action sequences. Yeah, everything we do is grounded on the theme of survival. Uh, we've got some amazing platform. We've got some platforming. We've got some amazing exploration. And uh, I think those things come together to create an amazing experience. Another big thing that drives her along is uh, Lara was shipwrecked on the island uh, with other members of her crew, and she feels a great responsibility uh, to make it off the island and uh, to save her friends. You know, what we've created for this game is what we call survival escapes, uh, where uh, Lara has to use her brain to solve a, you know, to overcome an obstacle in order to succeed. Um, a, lot of, a lot of these moments feature high levels of interaction with the environment, uh, and they use um, elements like fire, there's a lot of physics, water, all those combined to, you know, for, to create a challenge uh, that players have to think through in order to make it through. Certainly it's got a very dark tone and, and some mature themes, uh, but I, when I get a chance to see the impact that it's had on the people who have seen it, uh, it feels like we've gone in the right direction. I mean, at the heart, we're just trying to tell a great story. And certainly, um, Lara faces some pretty high stakes as she goes through the game. Um, but it's not done, I feel, in a gratuitous way. And certainly, um, you know, these are, these are real challenges that a person in this situation would face. Our game is a, a gear-gated game, so Lara has to find different pieces of gear in order to survive and make it through the game. They're the largest exploration spaces we've ever built for any Tomb Raider game, and it's just awesome to be able to go through the, them and sort of create your own experience. You know, there are side tombs, there's hunting, there's all kinds of really exciting things you can find just exploring our hub spaces. Literally in our game, Lara goes from zero to hero, and um, the gamer will have the opportunity along the way to help her get there through our upgrade system. So um, they'll be able to buy new survival skills for her and weapon upgrades. Tomb Raider coming to you March 5th, 2013 for Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC.